the Fortune 500 companies, 90% are using Dale Carnegie training. Why is that? Mm. It's simply because we are very tactical. Uh, I used to be a HR manager for IT company, mm -hmm. and I done a lot of the training. Uh, and those training is kind of blah blah theory, mm -hmm. blah blah technique. A lot of uh, uh, theories are going on in the training, mm -hmm. but actually it's not easy to apply. Mm -hmm. But our training is everything is really practical. For example, oh, soft skills. Soft skills. Uh -huh. For example, uh, take a look at the uh, their, their kind of human relation principles. Mm -hmm. It's really specific action, mm -hmm. like smile, mm -hmm. like uh, uh, make feel them important, mm -hmm. or uh, don't argue with somebody. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, very practical ideas. Mm -hmm. So that means people can apply those concepts easily mm -hmm. in the reality. That's the main reason. I think that's the very uh, major reason why the five, Fortune 500 is using us. I guess that's an issue, isn't it? You, you can have a lot of theory, and I've been to lots of business executive training courses, Harvard, Stanford, you know, some of the top schools, and it's great. But it's very macro, and when you come back to your desk, it's hard to instantly implement things. And what you're talking about here is for the Fortune 500 companies, they see the people, they send on the courses getting immediate application and therefore immediate outputs. That's right. Mm. So we actually discuss about the contents and not just explain the contents. We actually, uh, with the participants, discuss mm -hmm. and learn from the activities. Mm -hmm. That's why they get it they realize that, oh, this is what we need. Mm -hmm. This is how we apply. Mm -hmm. That's very important thing in that. Japan loves lecture, you know. A lot of the training in Japan is all, you know, the sensei, the, the instructor, talk, talk, talk. Yeah. What's Dale Carnegie doing that's different? Okay. okay. Uh, we have a principles mm -hmm. to teach something, uh, what we call 10% trainer talk, mm -hmm. and rest of the 9% participants talk. Oh. The trainer should only be talking for 10% of the time, the participants should be talking for 90% of the time. Right. right. Because, you know, once the trainer or teachers talk a lot, mm -hmm. what happens? Mm -hmm. Probably all the participants fell asleep and, you know, they're just like that. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's no results. Mm -hmm. So that's why we talk less and have them talk, have them busy, have them learn something. So the, the instructors guiding the people to do interactivity. Right. So it sounds like there's a lot of interaction going on yes. in the classroom. Yeah, yeah. That's because we want to engage people mm -hmm. and we want to uh, make them realize, oh, this is important. This is what we need. Mm -hmm. And what about the sense of ownership too? Because when it's the, the teacher talking all the time, the teacher owns all the content. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to get the transfer of the ownership out of the teacher owning it to the participants owning it. So how do you do that? Yeah. We facilitate the discussion mm -hmm. and we facilitate the uh, their classroom. Mm -hmm. And in order to do so, we actually ask a lot of questions mm -hmm. based on their business context. Mm -hmm. Once we ask the question, they start to think mm -hmm. about how to do that, what's the difficulties, mm -hmm. how to resolve that. Mm -hmm. That's a very important thing. Have them think about it. That creates the ownership. That's a sort of self-discovery right. methodology. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. And I guess in terms of uh, you know permanent learning, that's a very effective methodology because a lot of times it's in one ear and it's out the other. You know, if you ask people a month later after training, what do you remember? Often they don't remember anything. You know, it's all gone. So I guess you're trying to use a different methodology to get them to retain the information and then use it. Uh, in the in the classroom, we always always have them commit something mm. to use different to use something different way, and that's very critical thing. Have them commit something because uh, otherwise they don't do anything differently. Straight back to their desk right. and keep doing the same things right. in the same way and getting the same results. Right. So you want to step it up and have a, a better outcome, right? Exactly. Uh, okay. 
and also we encourage uh, companies to follow them up mm -hmm. mm, because once they finish courses, mm -hmm. everyone tends to get back to the normal, regular job, right? So we really encourage uh, a classroom or uh, the companies to use us as a follow-up tool mm -hmm. because once follow-up uh, going on, they keep learning. They keep applying those concepts they learned. That's very critical.